Like I said, though, we're getting back into some businesses. I'm so excited about this next interview. Um, man, I've been talking about it all show, I feel like. I just keep bringing her up because she's blowing my mind. Every time I talk to her on the phone, I'm like, yo, this is crazy. Um, without further ado, man, it is the incomparable, the amazing CEO of Me and the Bees. Her name is Michaela Omer. Welcome to Building Black Wealth. What's good? Hello, glad to be here. Great day. Now, hold on. How old are you? I am 15. You're 15 years old. Yes. And you, own, you are a CEO. Yes, I became a CEO the second I started my first lemonade stand. And that was at four. So, I mean, it's all about entrepreneurship. And entrepreneurship is when you create a product, you find a problem, or need, you create a product to help solve that. And so for me, my first stand was when I was four and a half here in Austin, Texas. You actually answer the business phone. Like, it's like with some people, I'm gonna be honest, if my daughter owned a business at 15, it would probably mm -hmm. be, it'd be me owning a business with her kind of standing there. But you're like really answering the phones and going to work. What's that like for you? I mean, I have a great team. I can't answer every single call because we have so many throughout the day. So it's definitely pretty busy. Uh, for me, a good calendar is, an import is very important. Summer is a time that I get to work on the company. School, like during the school year, school is number one priority. So I'm up at night studying, but it's a family run company. My mom's CMO, dad's chief worker B head of ops and younger brother is the number one sales rep and so we've you know grown significantly from being a family-run company but it's still my fam that's keeping it going i am loving this family hustle so wait so what do you do if if your chief worker b <laughs> is not doing what you want him to do well then let me just have a talk i won't fire anybody because you know they're my family of course not well i mean you he stays on it pretty good the entire time, whether it was coming up with a pitch for Shark Tank. My dad was the one who came up on Shark Tank and helped me pitch to um, the sharks that I landed to do with Mr. Damon John. And then my mom was the one who helps me with all PR and marketing. So I, I mean, the great thing about it is that I have a great team. So, yeah. So, so talk to me about the Shark Tank. I, I hadn't gone there yet, but you opened the door, so I'm gonna walk through it. When it came to Shark Tank, were you nervous doing that pitch? Yes, of course. So Shark Tank was when I was 10. The African American Chamber of Commerce of Austin was holding auditions. And so someone called us, they said, hey, they're holding Shark Tank auditions at our chamber. Would you be interested? So my parents at first were like, no, we've seen the sharks for other kids and they can be brutal. I mean, you, you've seen the show. They are brutally honest. And so they didn't want me to go on at first because I didn't, they didn't want my feelings to get hurt and me just not to want to continue the company. And so I guess after a lot of convincing, we finally, it was the last day of auditions and I finally convinced them to let me do, at least do the first round and pitch it and they loved it. So we kind of kept on going through round after round and it was months of pitch practicing, going over numbers. And uh, we, before I knew it, we were on the show, the sharks were trying the product. It was nerve wracking for me. I always called it nerve sighting because, you know, there's a bunch of sharks that are staring at you like this, but then it's also, it's also a great opportunity for your company and to get some more funding. Well, look, sis, you're the truth. I don't care what nobody says, you're a boss. Um, talk to me about these, these this product. I wanna, I'm gonna, I wanna see some lemonade, man. I need to yeah. see some lemonade. Talk I'm on your way right now, so you're definitely going to be able to try some. But this is the product, Me and the Bees Lemonade, and there are currently five flavors. We are working on some more, but there's mint, there's prickly pear, half and half iced tea lemonade, and ginger. And so the great thing about it, well, actually, there's a couple of great things about it, but. The first thing is that it's a social business. So a portion of the proceeds, a portion of the profits go to helping save the honeybees and encouraging social entrepreneurship. And then another great thing about it is that it's sweetened with honey. And I can also go over the story of how I started and why I decided to sweeten it with honey. Um, so sweetened with honey with a flaxseed, there's five fun and functional flavors. So instead of doing 
you know, any other, any old flavor. We wanted flavors that both taste good and do good. So we call it functional flavors. And then as well, there's no artificial colors, preservatives, or flavors. So honestly, I created it because I was a kid and I knew my parents didn't want me drinking bad beverages with high fructose corn syrup and things like that. So it's made by kids, for kids, and pretty much anyone who loves lemonade. You know what I like about it is that you got to deal with Damon. And you said for kids, by kids, and he's Mr. For Us, By Us. And I love yes. the whole synergy. Exactly. Um, I, you know what? There's so much you've said there. First off, when you were just, I like, I love my people right now. I love you. I'm loving all this energy, man. Do you hear her talk? She's saving bees, people. Come on, man. I be seeing articles about how we need the bees and we're killing them. And here we go. Lo and behold, Michaela is saving the bees. Real quick, before you go on, people, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, I need you to do something for me. I need you guys to go down to the link. I need you guys to make sure that you go to her site. I need you to make sure that you are buying and buying and buying everything you could possibly buy. There are so many parents on here. I don't want to hear no excuses. At the end of the song, Building Black Wealth, I say no excuses like, ah, and I mean it. Are you watching this? Are you kidding me? If you don't buy, don't come back. Don't watch my show. I don't need you. <laughs> I don't need you. If you're not going to buy from that, there's, I don't know when you are. Now, hold on. Before we go on, mm -hmm. you got any Juneteenth prices for us? Come on, man. We need oh, a discount. Yes, of course. So I celebrate Juneteenth with my family every year at the George Washington Carver Museum here in Austin. But for you guys and everyone watching the show who decides to buy the product, we are selling all five flavors of Me and the Bees. So a bottle of each, you get to do uh, the whole variety pack and try them all. And then all, and that's retail at $29.99. And then we're also offering the Me and the Bees lip balms, which is a pretty recent product. They're beeswax lip balms and they have really fun flavors like vanilla, Be My Sweet Honey, Buzzing Blackberry. So they're pretty fun. I might test one on camera in a second. And then also a handwritten card by me and a little sneak peek of my book, Be Fearless, that's going to be coming out on August 18th. Mic drop. Did you hear what she just said? She's dropping a mic, a, a book, son. Come on, man. Come on, man. You guys are playing, man. She's not playing. She's about her business, family. Let's go, man. This is this is building black wealth. So you got lip balm. Back to the lemonade. Then we go to the lip balm. Then we go go. Yes. To the lip balm. Yeah, one gotta go in order. Okay, lemonades. What's yes. your favorite? Honestly. My favorite? Okay, so my favorite right now is the half and half iced tea lemonade. Here it is. And even though it's not the first flavor that I came up with, the reason why this one's my favorite is because it reminds me of my grandfather's um, iced tea. He's from South. I mean, he's from North Carolina. And he makes the best iced tea, in my opinion. So this is kind of a spinoff of his iced tea. It's a Arnold Palmer mix of lemonade and iced tea and just a really great flavor for the summer. And then probably my second favorite is the prickly pear. I'm not sure if you know this, but prickly pear is a, you know, it's an upcoming flavor. I think there's a lot more buzz about it now considering the health, the, um, health benefits of it. But prickly pear pear is a cactus fruit and it's grown mainly in the south so texas and arizona and mexico but this one is one of my favorite flavors because it has such an interesting taste you have to try it i can't even describe it but this one's great as a popsicle and it's great as a hot tea too in the winter i'm i'm just i can't wait to get my box I don't know what day it's supposed to be here, but I promise you guys, I'm going live. I'm going live. I'm tasting yes. up in the mall. We can do Instagram live together. My my Instagram is at Michaela's Bees. That's M-I-K-A-I-L-A-S-B-E-E-S. -E -E and we can do a co-live. You can try the product and I'll give you some tips and recipes on what you can do with it. I'm going to see you next week. We're going to do that. Um, on the, okay, so now the lip balm. Talk to me about that real quick. Let me let me look at those again. Okay. But are there different flavors or what is how does that work? 
Yeah, so this is my beeswax lip balms. You can see right here, it's organic, pure non-GMO, cruelty-free, and made in the United States. I'm gonna demo a product right now, just because I can. And Why not? Why not? Lips can always use some um, lip balm. But they're really fun, easy um, packaging. It has beeswax, honey, and vanilla essence, and essential oils, vitamin E. So this is a really fun product. My goal has always been to become the Hello Kitty of lemonade. And so I didn't want to just do lemonade. I wanted to do lip balms and bags and partnerships with other businesses. And so this is the start of that. People, I don't want you guys to buy her product. I want you to buy it, and then I want you to buy it again. I don't want you to be a customer. I want you to be a repeat customer. I'm going to be and a repeat customer. I want to add something, too, because it's currently available. I'm happy to say this. My product is currently available in 1,800 stores nationwide. So if you get it online and you like it, please go to um, your local HEB. Um, if you're in Houston, Kroger, um, Whole Foods Market, and Fresh Market, Cost Plus World Market, go through the stores that our products in. And if you don't have one of those near you, please go ask your local store, go call up their buyer and say, can you get this black owned business? Because we need like more stores to carry black owned products and it allows for more people to be able to try my product. You have it there, people. Um, I got one more, I got one more for you because I can't let you go without touching on this book. Now, hold on. Now, we she just might dropped a book, people. Yeah! yeah I want to see that. Be fearless. Oh, the, the, the cover is saucy. I love it. I love Thank it. Thank you. Thank you. So this is my book, Be Fearless, Dream Like a Kid. And so it is a business playbook, and it's also my story of starting Me and the Bees Lemonade. And so the reason why I really wanted to write this book is because I, because I'm a social entrepreneur I'm, and I'm 15, I'm asked to do public speaking engagements to different schools and organizations so I can present about starting a company. And as a student, I can't accept everything. And so when Penguin Random House reached out and they said, hey, we thought we think it would be pretty cool to do a book. We said, of course, because that's such an amazing way to reach a larger audience. So this book I'm very excited for launching it because for publishing it because it teaches financial literacy, how to make a budget, um, how to set goals in a storytelling way that's fun for middle schoolers to read. And um, it's a middle grade book, but I just think it's fun for anyone who's looking for some business tips. What What would you say to any kid who wanted to be an entrepreneur? Like, what would your to all the little black boys and girls out there? Um, matter of fact, white, black. And everything mm -hmm. in between, right? To all the kids mm -hmm. out there, I think we put too much on these kids, man. I ain't separating the kids. What would you say, though, to the kids out there, um, and especially to the black kids, because you are one, but what would you yeah. say? Okay, so a couple things, because there's so much that I'd like to say. First thing is the title of my book, Be Fearless, Dream Like a Kid. I think that when we, okay, give me, can you give me a dessert? Um, a dessert, what do I, dessert I like, um, banana split. Okay, let's go with banana split. When kids want a banana split, they're gonna do whatever it takes to get their banana split. They're gonna get their banana split. If it's climbing on the counters, you know, seeking into the fridge, you're gonna get our banana split. But sometimes when adults want the banana split, they're gonna think of, oh, I'm gonna have to drive to the bakery. I'm gonna have to pay for gas charges. I need to count my calories. And they kind of think of the obstacles that go in the way. So when it comes to starting a company, uh, we are the like best people. So whether it's kids who are thinking of starting a company, go for it, be fearless, um, make a plan and try it just because, you know, no, there's no other greater time than now. And then for adults, it's kind of toning into your kid mentality and um, not only, not only planning, but also being fearless and going for it as well. And then another thing that I'd say for kids specifically is we're born in the age of technology. You know, we have free graphic design platforms, marketing platforms, um, invoice and inventory tracking. So we need to take advantage of that. We're, um, I think it's a great time to uh, do it because we have fully automated services that we know how to use and that are um, mainly free. So why not? Listen, um, I don't know what else to say. You're going to be a bestseller. You're going to be a billionaire. 
you're going to impact your community. I just want to make sure since you keep bringing that love and that attention back to your community, to all humanity, but more importantly, to your people. Go back to your people. Keep loving on your people. God bless you. I appreciate you coming.